Hey, what is going on YouTube? Finch back yet again trying to revamp this video that I've done a couple of times of how to change your Battlefield 3 from one language to English. Now, my dumbass deleted my Battlefield 3 and 4 off my computer before making this video, so I'm going to try to walk you step by step the best way I possibly can to show you how to do this because, again, it's going to take me a next amount of time to reinstall Battlefield 3 at least to be able to show you this 100% correctly, but I'm hoping that this video by step by step will be able to walk you through on how to do it. Now what I did was I just went ahead and made a Origins uh, game folder here on my desktop just to show you an idea. But what you're going to have to do uh, to do this is you need to remember where you installed your Battlefield 3. Now I run an SSD as my main drive which it has Windows installed so it's automatically set to default as my C drive which is where I install Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4 or whatever. So if that's where you installed it then you go into that folder or if you have another an external hard drive or an extra hard drive that has more space and you use that you would go into that hard drive or whatever but since I have my set to my um, C drive I'll show you step by step and this will also happen if you do not switch any of your folder uh, installation options on your origins account so what you would do is go into your local drive uh, I'm running a 64-bit operating system so I have an x86 folder for program files so if not yours would just if you're running a 32-bit it would just be program files you will go in there and you would find uh, origin games since we're running a 64-bit we we'll go into program files x86 Scroll down to where you see Origin Games, and this is where all your Origin game files will be right here. And this is why I made this folder, Origin Games. So you have all of your Battlefield 3 information here. I went ahead and made some extra folders, just because you're only going to need two folders here where you're going to put your Lock 1 and 2. Uh, your Lock 1 files looks like this. So what you're going to go into your data folder. Win32, lock, and this is where you'll copy these two these two files out of your lock one from the Battlefield 3 file uh, folder that you're going to download from Google Drive. You will take these, copy them, and paste them in here. Now what you're going to do is go all the way back to Origin Games, and you're going to see a folder called Update. And this has got an extra couple of folders in there, so you open up Update, open up Patch, data 132 lock and this is where your lock 2 comes into play you take the same you take these two files and you do the same thing you copy and paste them to the lock folder that's under 132 now what you do is you go back to origin games and whatever dot dll file so you see under uh, this is en underscore us dot dll meaning that's your english uh, your english files you take the uh, DLL file that I have here in the BF3 folder that you'll download and paste it in there. Whatever language files you're using, uh, if you're since mine was Russian, it would do uh, ru underscore dot whatever dot, D, uh, dot DLL. Uh, you replace it and you remove all of your uh, main language files. So if you see anything with, um, like as you can see here in a lock one folder, it says ne or en. Um, dot sb or whatever if it has ru or whatever language it's set to you need to remove those files the best thing for me to tell you to do is you back up those files before you copy and paste your english files in there so just in case that you load up battlefield and it comes up as a blank screen and you hear sound or anything like that you can go ahead and replace re-replace those files with your main one and reload the game and make sure it still works because sometimes it just acts wonky no it's not like a hack or anything EA knows people do you know I've said this before in previous videos EA knows people do this it's perfectly legal they're perfectly fine with it they want people to play and enjoy the game it's not like you're getting a free crop copy of the game you're just switching the language files over so you can play these that's all they are it's just language file language files so that's pretty much it. it's pretty simple step by step just again, you need to make sure you remember where you install your um, Battlefield 3 so it's easy to get to. Like I said, if you go to my computer, if it's um, if it was located in a second uh, secondary hard drive somewhere, you would just open it up and go to Origin Games or it's simple as that. Um, since like I said, I have mine set up my C drive, it's just going to Program Files uh, x86, 
going down to Origin Games, and this is where all my Origin Games would be installed. But I don't have any installed right now because I haven't been playing Battlefield, so there's no point of wasting hard drive space and so forth and so on. So, like I said, this will be um, this BF3 folder right here will be on a Google Drive link, so you guys can download it if you have any problems whatsoever with doing this step by step or anything like that. I'll be perfectly fine oh, uh, hitting you back up on Twitter or if you should leave a comment or anything like that. By all means, come to me if you have any problems. I try to help out as best as I can and hopefully this will help you out in joining Battlefield 3 if you're still playing. Um, that's pretty much it everybody. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. If you can, look at the description for all the links that are down there and make sure to like and share the video. Take care everybody. Peace.